everybody. Um, today we're gonna change out a hydraulic line here on the dump trailer that I bought a couple a couple weeks ago. Um, bought it from a gentleman, um, and as we were purchasing it, we noticed that the hydraulic lines had needed to be replaced, um, starting to leak a little bit. He didn't use it a whole lot. He bought it probably five years ago and used it probably a handful of times. So I first filled it up with some hydraulic fluid and. Um, trying to find out where that leak was exactly and I think I've identified it so today what we're gonna do is we're gonna take all the hydraulic lines off or at least the one that I think is leaking and then kind of work our way through it all right so this is inside of the uh, compartment on the dump trailer this is where the reservoir for the hydraulic fluid is and then the battery so the first thing we're gonna do is disconnect the battery um, Already loosened everything up on this end of it, so disconnecting the battery, put the nut back on so I don't lose it, and just putting that on top just so that you know, quick, quick identification which one's positive, which one's negative. So disconnect the ground. All of that is disconnected. It looks like it's this line right here that's the one that's got the leak on it because it is oozy everywhere. It's kind of made a mess on the inside. And then the other one runs right here and it stays pretty clean. I'm assuming this is the intake and that's the outflow. Um, again, I haven't been able to figure out exactly um, when it's leaking because it runs through this pipe here. So you can see them come out right there, goes through the center tube comes out to the hydraulic cylinder. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna disconnect that one line that's all, um, got all the hydraulic oil and everything, and then we'll go from there. Yeah, one thing I didn't tell you is before I took up, disconnected the battery and disconnected the hose, put up the safety pole. Yeah, don't really wanna drop this heavy thing on top of me as I'm climbing underneath all that. So. Probably should have said that earlier. All right, so here's the, the fitting for where um, that hose that seems to have the leak in it is. So we're just gonna undo it here. It wasn't super tight, which is interesting. And then we're just gonna lose a little bit of fluid. I have a drip pan underneath here just so it doesn't make a mess. Get it over the ground. So, perfect. All right, so now we got that disconnected. It's draining into the bucket, or into the drain, uh, oil catcher. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna disconnect the hose right there. There's one to kind of hold the fitting, the other one to move. And that one wasn't very tight either. And we're just going to loosen it up the rest of the way. Looks like it's going to ooze there too. Perfect. Nothing like making a mess. Here we got it. All right, so the next step is we're gonna to try to fish it back through there, and we'll pull it out on the other side. Um, it'll just be easier to fish it that way.
Well, after pushing that in, it looks like I, the other one needs probably replaced as well because it's coming through here. That's the one I pushed out. This one that moves freely. So, I guess we're going to take them both. Kind of inspect it a little bit better and then make a decision from there. Um, try not to drip that. Well, here we go again. I'm just going to disconnect this one. We're just going to take them both. Um, I don't know what it's going to cost to get them replaced, but they need to be done. They're old. They've got all sorts of cracks in them. You can see it right there. So, dry rot. So we'll get this thing taken apart and go run them over to the hydraulic shop. Alright, so... I'm just going to disconnect this one, same as the others. Try to catch as much of the oil as we can. All right, so we got all the hoses out. Um, of course, spill a little bit every time you do something with oil. So just uh, putting down some cutie litter to kind of absorb it up. It's still kind of oozing a little bit. Um, again, kind of expected. But yeah, we will um, we'll get those hoses replaced and the next we'll uh, reinstall them. All right, so I went to the store. Um, they were only able to replace one of the two. Um, one store only had pipe or the hosing and another one had the, uh, the couplers but they only had two couplers so I wasn't able to get both hoses replaced so what I chose to do is take the one that seemed to be the worst the one I think was leaking and um, I was able to replace that so what I have to do now is I have to fish it through and then reconnect both ends and leave the line so that they're not just leaking um, or there's no air in the system. So that's what we're going to work on next. I'm just going to get Okay, so what I have done is I've kind of fished both these hoses in. You can see them kind of running around through here. Um, what I'm going to do is I've reconnected the battery so that I can try to see which one of these is the input valve. So I'm going to put it in the old hydraulic fluid line so I can bleed the line so we can figure out which one is doing which. And uh, yeah, we'll kind of go from there. 